you may wonder, and for that matter, so may I. But what are we doing here? Well, as you know, we've been uh, serialising Captain Fawcett's continuing adventures, Tales of Daring Do, and uh, thought we might pick it up where we, where we left off. And uh, where, where was he? Or should I say, where was he? Where was I? Where was who? Who? Where were everybody? Somebody was. Somebody somewhere, for sure. Uh, who? I digress. So, uh -huh. 28th of December. The Americans have a mule train heading to the Carolyn coast. It leaves in the morning. Its mission is to collect their most recent shipment of food and supplies. More buggers, I one would suppose. I have negotiated carefully, and in exchange for some jars of my highly regarded moustache wax, the Yanks being no stranger to an esteemed growth, I have secured safe passage for our marooned expedition. Huzzah! 29th of December. With my original plans to get the chaps home deranged, I consider our current position as I rock gently, side to side, hoisted aloft an ancient palanquin. I muse, after all, life is a rum do. What? 30th December. Hurrah, for we have reached the hullabaloo that is Koch Inn. Without further ado, I hail a rickshaw and demand that I'm taken forthwith to the offices of the British Steam Navigation Company. My aim, to seek out old Crockart, whom I had last seen going down from Cambridge. I knew that he was running the Indian Bureau of the family firm. It's time to call in that overdue favour. 31st of December. Got to the port, found the authorities and ferreted out Crockart. After a brief exchange of pleasantries, duly followed by a spot of tiffin, I come directly to the point and requested passage for yours truly and the whole expedition on this very evening's sailing to Tilbury. Simply not possible, intimated the cove. What? said I. However, a mere suggestion on my part, a small hint, a little reminder alluding to that unpleasantness in the removed common room all those years ago ensured I left with the required starboard berth. Later that day, gleefully, all and sundry, clamber up the gangplank and board the good ship SS Chintwara, bound for Blighty. Hurrah! The tub appears in poor shape. However, one mustn't grumble. I was further given the superb news that we had wrested the ashes from the dreadful Antipodeans. Wow! Here's to 1933. Aye, aye, Captain, because we were homeward bound. Well, dear ladles and jelly spoons, I think that pretty well concludes Captain Fawcett's adventures for the time being. We may well uh, pick this up with the next pandemic or any other sort of kind of quite natural disaster, which may allow us um, enough time to be able to digest or certainly listen to this, uh, you know, gibbering idiot or this gibberish or whatever you care to say. Um, so I'd like to just thank you for taking the, the time and the trouble to uh, spend with me uh, on these uh, Sunday evenings. So in the meantime... Until we next meet, keep alert. Keep alert. <sighs> There'll always be a England, and England there will be, there'll always be an England, and can you tell me what's for tea? <coughs> Arsenal, thank you. <laughs>